everyone welcome back to my channel so i hope this angle is okay i can't really see exactly what's happening on the camera with the angle that it's in but basically we're gonna be updating my makeup basket today i also like took all the makeup out which is only these few little bins um but i figured that would make it easier instead of like pulling open all the drawers and stuff so i'm gonna start by taking out stuff from the bin I currently have and then putting it back and then we're gonna go through and kind of pick out some stuff. Okay, so I put everything away. Oh crap, I do have a lip gloss in my purse, but I'll grab that later. Um, I ended up putting the primer and the tinted moisturizer back. I think I'm gonna pull out this primer. And then I think I'm going to pull out my Pretty Fresh foundation. I would like to get some more use out of this, um, but I think I should be able to mix it with the foundation I have in my Project Pan. My project pan is um, ending soon. It's just my seasonal summer project pan. And now that summer's coming to a close, it is going to be ending. So um, I just want to get some final uses out of that foundation that's in that project. But I can mix this one in with it. Okay. For cream products... I, th I think I'm going to pull out my Hollywood Flawless Filter. I really, really love this, so I want to get some use out of that. Um, I think I'm going to pull out this cream blush. It's going to be kind of warm this week, and I feel like it'll be a good time to get some use out of this until it turns a little bit colder and I want to use more neutral blushes. So I feel like that will be good. And then, I don't know if I want to work on this. I might just pull this in just to have. Um, it's the only cream bronzer I have. And it doesn't, like, roll up or down anymore. So, it's really, like, hasn't... It doesn't have a lot of life left. I don't know if you can tell. But it'd be nice to finish it, honestly. Um, yeah, I think that's good for creams. Okay. Let's look at powders. So, I have in my butter bronzer and this highlighter. These are both my project pans, so I want to keep these in for this week. So I really only need to pull in a blush, which I already have the cream blush in. Hmm. I might just pull in this again. I feel like I just have this in here though. Hmm. Yikes. Um, actually, I think I'm going to scratch a powder blush and then maybe just pull in... I might pull in this lipstick and use that as blush. Um, I mean, I keep it with my blushes, but that'll give me like a colorful option and then a, a more neutral option. And then I'll just say heck with powder blush this week. I think that will be actually a better situation for me. Okay, so for the eyeshadows, okay, I want to do a couple things. I don't think I need this brow flick yet. I'm so close to being done with my brow pencil. Well, closer, I thought I was closer, I guess. So I'm not going to pull that in until I truly do finish my brow pencil. Um, I'm going to pull this back in to get some use out of it. It was kind of smudging on me, but I'm going to see if that's fixed. Um, I am going to pull in this Ilia mascara. I do have my Glossier mascara, but I think I'm going to use this more for bottom lashes. And then I, I want to test this out for the top, but really love this for the bottom. I normally don't use bottom mascara, but this I've been absolutely loving. 
And then I did get this new ColourPop single shadow. And I think I want to pull this out so that I can use it. I think that would be fun. Okay, that should be good for that. And then what do we want to do for lips? This is just a box. Hmm. I feel like since it's like the last hurrah of summer, like maybe the last of the nice weather, I feel like maybe I should go for this lip jelly. I think I'm going to start a lip type project just because I really need to. Oh, also, okay, I just want to mention, I found this on sale at Ulta. It's Dose Over the Top. This is my all-time favorite gloss. I do have one, but I was like scared to use it because I... I really do love it but now I have another one so I feel like I can just like go through those and just be content now um it was half off on sale at Ulta I found it in like their clearance so I was so excited so I think I'm just gonna pull this in and then maybe just really focus on this during the week it's getting kind of hard to wear lip gloss just because of the mask and everything but I need to be better about it so potential lip projects coming soon <laughs> Okay, so now to reset the basket here, I have in my two sprays. They're honestly both almost gone. Well, ish. I have the powder to set my eyeshadow. I have my eyeshadows for my Panlo's eyeshadows, which is coming later this week. And then this palette I'm working on in that project. And then let's put in some products. Okay, there is my final makeup basket. So I feel like I got a good mix of products and some stuff I haven't used in a while. Um, now that my project pan is about to be over, I feel like I can really get to rotating more through things. I'm not sure if what I'm gonna do project pan wise because I feel like I like this rotation better than like actually project panning, um, like a whole entire collection. <laughs> So I may just start um, doing either smaller project pans or maybe like category specific project pans. Like I do really want to kind of do a lip focused one. So we'll see, but I feel like that'll give me more freedom in my makeup basket for the future. So here's what I have currently. Um, let me know what you guys are using down below for the next couple weeks and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.